So I've been waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 for a very long time. Now I have quite the story to share, and this all started back when I used to work at Samsung. Let's get started. I can't believe it. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So I have a lot to talk about today, but first let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Now I ordered the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 with the custom blue mystic hinge. So let's go ahead and see what it's like in here. So here it says, change the shape of the future, introducing the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. Reimagine the possibilities of the smartphone experience, unlock endless versatility, and enjoy unrivaled engineering and craftsmanship. Welcome to the mobile era. So pretty cool little welcome card there. Pull this up and there we have the device. So in here, let's check it out. We have a quick reference guide. So I did buy the unlocked version right from Samsung. Here it talks about how to insert your SIM card. And then it talks more about your phone and Samsung Care and all of that good stuff. And then inside here, it does come with a SIM card ejector so that you can put in your SIM card. I just I can't believe it. All right, so here we have the phone. Let's check out the back. Wow, this is amazing. So here it talks a lot about what we're not supposed to do. So do not press the screen or the front camera lens with a hard or sharp object. When folding the device, make sure there are no objects such as cards, coins, or keys placed between the screens as doing so may cause damage. This device is not dust or water proof. Exposure to liquid or small particles such as water, coffee, or sand may cause product damage such as scratches or dents on the screen. Do not remove the screen protector film and do not install other films or stickers as doing so may cause product damage. And your device contains magnets. Keep your distance between your device and objects that may be affected by magnets such as credit cards and implantable medical devices. So there you go, some good info there. Now before we take that off, let's go ahead and see what else is inside the box here. I think it's pretty simple, we just have a power brick there and a charging cord. So let's go ahead and move that aside. Pretty cool little box. So here, start from the back. So this is the black mystic with the blue metallic hinge. So it took a little extra time to get this, but I'm really excited with how that looks. So let's go ahead and boot this up just right there, hold down the power button. It is also the fingerprint scanner as well. So here it goes. Now on the front screen, you can see it showing the logo here is booting up, but it also has a screen protector that's pre-installed on there as well. So there is a little bit of protection on the device. And then there is another screen protector on here. I've seen a lot of people pull that off, but I think I'm gonna keep that on here as long as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the setup. This screen is awesome. So let's go ahead, connect to Wi-Fi. So again, it's giving us this notice of things to do. Let's go ahead and take a screenshot. So you hold down the power and the volume down. And there it is. I just, I can't believe how big this screen is. So now let's go ahead and close it just like that. So there we can see the full hinge. And then here we have the outside screen that's available. And that is nice and tall. So let's do a quick comparison. I'm currently using the Galaxy Note 20. So there you can see it's not as wide or as tall as the Note 20, um, but thickness is another story. So there you can see it's quite a bit thicker than this device. For many years, I've actually carried two phones. I've always had a personal phone, a work phone. So I've been using two phones in my pocket for many, many years. So with this, you can have two phones in your pocket, but they're meant to be together. And then you can make it go to this really big screen. Ah, so there you go. That is uh, the Note 20 versus the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. And here we have the Galaxy S20 Ultra. So it's a little bit taller there, but you would need, gosh, 
it's it's pretty wide compared to that. So you definitely get a bigger screen with the Z Fold 2. Now, one thing, it doesn't really sit flat um, because on the back it does have the camera bump over on this side. I'm gonna see if I can get some sort of case on here. And then I'm going to be putting Whitestone dome glass on the front, just cause these uh, pre-installed screen protectors, they hold up, but for not very long. So now let's look at a few different features. So here on the home screen, you have your full phone. So I have a home page. I could go ahead and pinch the screen. I can come over here and add more applications. If I swipe up here, I have all my apps. So let's say I want to add Samsung Pay. I can drop it down like there. So pretty much a full phone on the outside. Now let's say I go into an application like YouTube and I wanna see YouTube on the full screen. All I have to do is open it up and boom, there YouTube is right on the full page. So you can see everything all in one and it just looks amazing. So let's say I want to watch a video here. Play launch night. In. And while I'm watching a video, I then have all my normal options. So down here you can see recommended videos. So if I fold the phone here, you can see that I can watch the video up there on the top. Down here I can look at recommended and I can like and comment and do all of that down here on the bottom. So it's really cool that you have this dual functionality device like that. Another app where that is really great is in the camera. So here I'm on the front camera, I tilt it. Now you can see that it's looking right at me. I can sit the phone down and then I can go and take a photo wherever I want. I can hold up my hand, it can snap the photo and there you go. Now, if I want to go to the back screen, I can go like that and then I can take a picture the other way, tap to take a photo. You have all your other photo options here. And then if I click on the picture to watch, there it will go shrink down, or you can see it full screen and it looks really cool. All right, so this is a feature called auto free framing. So it's automatically going to adjust if I move around. So I can just set the camera up to start recording. And then as I move, it will then try and get me in the best position possible. Um, let's go to the rear camera. Now when you're on the rear camera, so the camera that's here on the back, you have the option to take a picture from there instead of on the front facing camera. So it's how you do that is with this option right here. So what this allows you to do is let's say I'm taking a picture of somebody like this. Well, on their view, they can see that I'm taking a picture of them so they can see what they look like in the picture. And so if I wanted to take a picture of myself, I can just push the volume button and there it snaps a photo and it's with the better camera. So these are better cameras than the cameras on the inside. So that's a pretty cool thing that you can do with the fold. Now, the next thing I want to try is doing gaming. So uh, that's something that I think is going to be amazing on here because of the aspect ratio. Now, one of the major problems with gaming on some of the new cloud services is here, if I'm playing the game, it is cutting off the edge. So look how small my screen is because this game is formatted for a 16 by nine ratio. I don't get the full screen to play with. So let's go ahead and try a game over here on our Fold 2. So here over on the Fold 2, I'm playing Battletoads on Game Pass, and here I'm playing Kreta on Stadia on the S20 Ultra. So this is pretty much the biggest screen you can get um, without getting a Fold. But look at the size difference here. Because it's cutting off the edges with the 16 by nine ratio, it makes the screen so small. And over here, because it's a four by three ratio, I still have the black bars, but then I have a much bigger screen. So it's about one inch bigger, but I really think that adds a lot, especially when you're gaming on the go. So this is gonna be really cool to be able to game with. Now, one other thing about gaming is here, I bought this uh, MOGA controller with my Z Fold 2, but the problem is, is this did not fit. So I did a bit of a modification. I 3D printed a new part here, took off the old part, so the old part only extended that far. The end result turned out pretty awesome. It's gonna be so nice to be able to game with this. I'll leave a link to the Thingiverse upload in the description below. Now checking out the speakers on the Fold 2, it does have dual speakers, so on the right and left side, and they sound pretty great.
And then the nice part about this is it has a 3000 milliamp battery pack. So then I could recharge my phone. So that is gaming. Now, one other cool thing that I think this will be useful for is just when I'm sitting there watching a video, I can then prop it up and I can watch the video. With some of the other new phones, I'm getting cases that don't have a kickstand because the phone is already so big, so I don't want the kickstand to add bulk. So with the Fold 2 having its own kickstand built in with the hinge, I think that's gonna be really cool. If I'm just trying to watch a movie without having to lean forward or whatever, there I would be able to watch it all on this screen. So I'm really excited to be able to use that hinge feature as well. Now I did buy the Note 20, so I didn't get all the extra Note 20 Ultra features, but one cool thing about the Fold 2 is in the display settings, it does have the option for motion smoothness. So it can go to the 120 hertz, and here you have the option for adaptive. So it's going to automatically adjust to give you the best battery life possible, but scrolling through, it makes the screen just so smooth. That is one of the main things I miss about not using my S20 Ultra anymore, is that 120 hertz screen. So I'm really excited that it is here on the Fold 2. All right, now let's go ahead and see if there's any software updates available. So the phone's doing a quick update, but while this is going on, let me go ahead and tell you a quick story about why I think it's an okay thing for me to buy this $2,000 folding phone. So this all started nine years ago when I decided that I wanted to start making YouTube videos. Now at the time I was in college and just got married, didn't have any money and I started pretty much begging people for a dollar. I said, if everyone gives me a dollar, I'd be able to afford a new iPad that had just came out, the iPad 2, so that I could start uh, making videos about how it works because it was a new type of technology, a tablet that not many people knew about. Um, so I started begging for money. Well, a few months later, I had actually had cousins and some friends start giving me these dollars here and there and it started to pile up. And I was like, hey, I think this is actually gonna work. So I ended up getting a total $500 and was able to go and buy an iPad. Now this isn't the exact iPad, but it is an iPad 2, which is that's what I went and bought. So I bought an iPad 2 and at the time I was using a Samsung Galaxy Nexus phone and I then began recording videos about how to use the iPad. I showed how to add your Google Calendar and some other um, things that would be important to know about a new device. And I put those videos on a channel I called Tablet in a Minute. The channel's still there, you can go and check it out, but this channel was all about teaching you something in less than one minute. Pretty opposite of how my channel is now where I'm making these 45 minute videos. But anyway, I wanted to make these quick tip videos um, about this device. Hello and welcome to Tablet in a Minute. Today I'm gonna to show you how to add a home screen shortcut to a website on your main screen. How to add a website shortcut to your home screen on Android. This will work on tablet or phone. So I started talking about the iPad and all these videos and I think the iPad's a great device and it was going really well. And at the time I was looking for a new job and I was about to finish my bachelor's degree and I was looking for different jobs and I had a family member recommend that I should go and work with Samsung. They currently worked at Samsung Telecommunications America. And so I sent my resume in and applied and went through the whole process to get hired as a field sales manager. So somebody who goes into the stores and teaches employees about new Samsung products. So during this time, I had to make a video and show off my skills and some of the things that I would use uh, new technology for. Hello, my name is Brett Bristow. I'm so excited for this opportunity today to be here to tell you why you should choose me for the next field sales manager. Currently, I own the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is by far the best smartphone that I've ever owned. I love the vibrant screen, I love the camera, and I love that it runs Android, which is by far the best mobile operating system. Samsung, I am your guy. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, the person that was hiring me, she saw that video, but it really didn't work, but she got recommended one of my other videos on my personal channel, which was me doing the haka, which I learned when I went to New Zealand. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, 
Come on, Dick. Come on, Dick. Go, Dick. Go, Dick. And she saw that video and she thought, oh, wow, he can be pretty animated. And so she ended up hiring me and I then worked for Samsung. So that was eight years ago. And uh, at the time I was like, hey, if I work for Samsung, I probably shouldn't make videos about the iPad. So I ended up stop making videos on that YouTube channel. Now, even though I stopped making YouTube videos at the time and I didn't make videos about the iPad, I still love tablets. I made the channel tablet in a minute. So I really love tablets and how much they could do more than just a mobile phone. And since then, tons of things have changed, but I still think a tablet is such a cool device where you have this full, not a computer, whatever Apple's calling the iPad now, but it's so cool that you can have all of that in one device on this really big screen. And I then just worked at Samsung for many years. So I started when the Galaxy Note 2 came out and I was able to receive every single phone since then a little early so that I could then go and teach the employees at local cell phone stores how to do that. So my day to day was I'd go to probably six different locations, show them the new features on the new Samsung phone, Samsung watch, whatever it was. And so that they could help um, you as a customer coming into the store to make a better decision on what phone to buy. So about four or five years ago, I decided I wanted to start making YouTube videos again. So that's when I started the Tech with Brett channel. Props to my wife for creating that really awesome name. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett. Today on Tech with Brett, I'm going to talk to you about the Galaxy S7 and what it means that it's water resistant, as you see here. Today I have my kids joining me in the background, so I hope you enjoy their noise. And then I just started posting videos with some of the phones that I had. So I posted little tutorials on things that I was doing every day in the store teaching them. I thought it'd be important for you to know as well as I was teaching that all day long. And here on YouTube, I can talk to a lot more people than I would just going around to a few stores every day. Um, so this is great because you can use your phone if you um, have kids, maybe they accidentally throw it in the tub. So I was having a lot of fun making these little YouTube videos and it kept growing and growing and I was pretty excited about what was happening. So while I was working at Samsung over a seven year period, a lot of things changed, not only with the company, but also with uh, technology. Now, as a Samsung employee, one of the really cool things is about two times a year, we would go and be trained on the new product before it came out. So we would see all the brand new devices. We'd learn all the little things about them so that we could come and teach the employees. So we were sitting in a meeting and they had just finished talking to us about the Samsung Galaxy S10. So this is the first time anyone had heard of the Galaxy S10e, the S10, and the S10 Plus. Now at these meetings, I get a little bit excited um, and so does everyone else just because it's the latest products and we're really excited about it. But then they just quickly went into talking about the Samsung Galaxy Fold and I was just blown away. I could not believe that they were telling us this. I didn't think it was gonna come out for a few more years and they were telling us about the foldable. They were showing these videos and pictures and I was just blown away, cheering. Um, there were probably a thousand people in this room and I was surprised that not many of the other employees were as excited as me. So I just kept shouting and cheering for this brand new phone and I was really excited to get it. So when a product's announced like that to us, we can't say anything about it until Samsung officially releases releases it. And so as soon as it was released, I went and put in my pre-order for the original Samsung Galaxy Fold, and I was very excited for it. Well, a few things changed. The Fold all of a sudden had all these problems. So they postponed it, and then they ended up canceling our orders, and I was pretty bummed. Now at that same time, I decided that it was a lot of work to continue working at Samsung and to be working on so many YouTube videos, I just didn't have the time for both. Many times I would be making these YouTube videos until two or three in the morning. You can see by the timestamps on many of the phones in my previous videos. And so I really wanted to just be able to take care of my family more and work from home. So I figured it out where I could then finally leave Samsung and then work on the channel a lot more. And so I learned a ton of things from Samsung and then I was finally able to quit and work on my own. So then after the Galaxy Fold came out, 
I went to the local Best Buy and tried to find it, but it just wasn't available. And after all the problems, I ended up just deciding, you know what? I better wait for the second generation. I think it's gonna be an amazing device, so might as well wait. And so that is why I am so excited today because I've been waiting for so long to be able to get my hands on a Galaxy Fold and here it is. And it is just so amazing to be able to hold it and see exactly how big it is and what the experience is like. I know that was a long story, but that's kind of how I got here. That's why I talk a lot about Samsung. I think Samsung are really great phones and I always have loved Google devices. So because they run Android, that's something that I've always loved. And so I have just been waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 to come out forever. And now it's just amazing that I am able to have this phone to show what it can do and to show kind of what the next generation of product is. Just like the iPad 2 here, I feel like this is kind of that same type of device. And there's already a few other foldables that have come out as well. I even showed off the Galaxy Z Flip and I was really excited about that, but I decided I would like this form factor a little bit more where I have this really big screen and then it can go to a smaller screen here. So um, the iPad's not charged right now, but look at this comparison. And so here you can see that this phone fitting in my pocket is almost as big as this 9.7 inch iPad 2, the cameras are way better, it's way faster, the screen quality is way better, and uh, it's just amazing how much I can have now in my pocket right here on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. And so that is my little story about how I began making YouTube videos nine years ago, how I got a hold of an iPad 2, how I then got hired by Samsung, and then transitioned into doing YouTube full time and being able to use phones like the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now with this story, hopefully it could motivate you in some way. I remember uh, many years ago when I was trying to find a job, I started putting in resumes all over the place. I just throw a resume to Google or Apple or whatever it was and nobody ever listened to me. So it was awesome that Samsung gave me a chance and then I could finally share all of those different experiences that I've had with technology with others and how it has helped my life and I know that it can help you. So if you guys have any other questions about this experience, please let me know in the comments below and I'm really curious as to what you would like to see about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. I know there's already a ton of other videos out there about the Fold 2 so I'd be interested to see what you would like to know about it. And when I say this, I really mean it. Thank you so much for watching. I couldn't be doing this without you. So I really appreciate you. And my goal here is to help technology work for you. So if you ever have any problems, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you and help find a solution for you without having to spend $2,000, maybe using tech that you already have. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.